Hi guys. I wanted to show you how you were to cheaply install a spoiler for the Ranger. Um, you can't really pick them up online because, well, nobody makes anything for this thing. Uh, so you're going to have to make it yourself. So what I ended up using was splitter rods, four of them. Uh, they all work pretty well. I made the spoiler out of license plates. Uh, just any random, doesn't matter what kind. And it takes about five if you're spanning them across the tailgate. Um, and you're probably gonna have to overlap them. But it's 100% st sturdy. Um, it's actually functional, surprisingly. It doesn't bend, it doesn't move, it doesn't like, it's, it's, it's sturdy. Um, in total, it cost me maybe 60 bucks. Um, and I get asked about it all the time. Uh, it's cheap, and don't worry, I'm getting a roll pan from the bottom, so if for anybody's going to talk crap, you know, just just wait. I, I got, I'm, I'm on it, I'm on it. But, um, you'll have to end up drilling into the bed, just a normal drill. It's not that hard, and nuts and things will come supplied with these splitter rods, so. You see, it's I'm hitting it pretty hard, and it's fine. You tailgate, you just have to watch the, the, the spoiler, it'll might cut you or hurt you. But you know, again, I don't really use this for much for much truck use. Most I've used it was to move refrigerator, so um, still usable. I made sure to put brackets in between where the plates overlap, that was helps gives it the sturdiness. Um, other than that, really, and also, I bolted inside the top, that's where it's mounted at. This is peeled up because I hit it when, either way, it, it works pretty well. I like it, it looks good from behind. I get people who like it all the time, who ask me how, I've had people from my car scene come and stop by my house and ask me how I did it and they don't even have a range for it. They just want to know how. Um, yeah, that's how you install one of these. Um, you're gonna need, need lock nuts, you know, small bolts. I say you're gonna have to drill into here. I use brackets in between where they overlap. Like I said, it's sturdy. It doesn't wiggle about, you know. I've done 110 in this thing, 120, almost 120, and it doesn't, you know, move around or anything like that. It just stays where it is.